Quickly, some breaking news out of the North County where a small plane has landed on Interstate 5 in Del Mar on the southbound side. It has been a huge backup there mm -hmm. on the southbound side, completely shut down. The northbound side has three lanes open right now. We know this plane as it came down hit one vehicle and then its wing got lodged into the back of another vehicle, an Audi SUV. Our Jamie Chambers is there on the scene. They're at Via de la Valle, right in the middle of the freeways where Jamie is across from the Del Mar Fairgrounds. Uh, Jamie, I know you've talked to quite a few people out there, including the CHP, including some of the people who were hit by this plane. Uh, what's the latest out there at the scene? Yeah, so really what we're seeing is exactly what you talked about that the CHP is really good at. They've seemed to be able to get a lot of the, the traffic. If you look a little deep, Alex, if you pull it a little deep, you can see that the southbound traffic is mostly now being diverted to Via de la Valle. You can see a lot of those cars moving. You can see a lot of the, the larger trucks. They don't have anywhere to be. You can see them posting up almost in like a parking lot on the, uh, the southbound five here. I also wanted to give you a little bit of a perspective of where we are on the freeway, the five. Everybody in San Diego will know exactly where we are once we show you this. You take it over, you can see the estuary, then you can see the racetrack. That's the Del Mar racetrack. We are due east of that, and that's exactly where this Piper set down in the middle of the freeway. So they're working through this. Um, amazing. We've been on a lot of plane crashes in our day, and it's amazing because we do see the federal agents out here. That's the, uh, the uh, federal car and the FAA is here. They're starting their investigation quickly. That doesn't mean that this is going to speed up um, any faster, but it's great to see these guys out here fast, knowing that this is the major thoroughfare. This is an absolute critical component of transportation in San Diego, the 5 three freeway. You can't get anywhere if you can't be on the 5 when you're talking about San Diego and the coast. So just that Piper, we're also talking to some experts just at first blush, it looks like a complete loss. The wings torn off, the propeller certainly bent. But again, only two people suffering minor injuries. Uh, spoke to, um, if you push it all the way around, Alex, this is uh, Sarah and Dane. They were in this Kia on their uh, eighth anniversary, wedding anniversary. They have a couple little cuts and bruises. Um, Sarah there has some uh, some glass in her hair, but miraculously they're okay. They say when the, the plane went down, it was like they got rear-ended. Dane kept his focus, kept the, the car going about the same speed, and then he say, says that he saw the plane just whip across the freeway right behind him, um, and uh, there was no more damage after that first hit. S very scary, they're shaken up. And then this is the other car that was damaged in this uh, this accident you can see that's a wing in the back of the audi that's from the piper that's been ripped off and the reason that they can't move these cars for now is because there's gasoline that was in that wing that is now in that suv so that everybody's dealing with that hazmat on scene working through that but right now if you see the guy in the white hat over here <clears throat> he's talking to some of the hazmat teams he's part of the faa um, and he's working through this for NTSB, trying to get the statement from the pilot and talking to everybody that's been involved in this. And I will say this, um, I did speak to the pilot right as I got on scene and he was shaken up, but he was okay. Both people in the plane are okay. Everyone in, the, in this accident that was involved with it is expected to make a full and complete recovery. The, the pilot told me um, simply, and he wouldn't go into any details, but he told me he simply, I did my best, I did my best, and then kind of uh, didn't want to say anything more after that. But looking at how dangerous these circumstances were and looking at the entire outcome, it's certainly not um, not as bad as it could have been. And, and in plane crash terms, this is a pretty good, uh, pretty good outcome because everybody's going to make it. Again, there's the Piper, and you can see the hazmat guys trying to remove some of that fuel, trying to clean sections of this freeway but they are going to be at work for quite some time and we will be waiting eventually for a flatbed truck to take this plane away take it into a hangar and start the investigation as to what went wrong if there was a mechanical failure um, what took place why was this plane forced to land on the southbound side of the five freeway northbound side is looking far better seeing some smooth moving uh, through at least three lanes here. 
Uh, the backup is still extraordinary. Even the police are having trouble getting all the way to us, but at least we're seeing some of the, the general flow of traffic moving. They're moving at you know, 30, 40 miles an hour around this area. But the backup, uh, I can't even imagine how far that goes. That is the latest here. We're expecting to hear from the PIOs, from the uh, incident commander on scene, as to the very latest. In a, in a few moments, we'll bring you all the information just as soon as we get it. That's the very latest from the 5 Freeway just east of Del Mar. We'll send it back to you in the studio.